having a super cool party, people. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. I've been here so much. Today is my second to last day of work this week, which is nice. And then I have a couple days off, and then I think the, those are pretty much my last weekend days off until the end of, I was gonna say June, but that is not correct. Um, until sometime mid-September. <laughs> but it's fine, I will survive. There's a song about that. That was not intentional. Anyway, I did get a little bit more sleep last night. I've almost broken the five hours a night barrier, but you know, if you add the three and a half hour nap to that, that's like a full night of sleep. It's just broken up a little bit. I'm at least at this moment feeling more awake and more conscious than I have in the last couple days, which is super exciting. But my breakfast drink did kind of explode everywhere this morning. I was like shaking it. It was like, ah! it was on the door, it was on the floor, it was on my hands. What can you do? I think today is going to be like a mid to, like a, a short to mid length day. I don't think it's gonna be a long day, we'll see. I got a list of things I need to do today because if you remember last week, I think it was, I planned out all my remaining days before June hits. Actually, technically before the third week of May hits, just to try to make sure that I get everything done. By third week, do I mean fourth week? I don't know. I don't know, there's just so much to do, but yeah, so that's, that's what's happening there, so lots of stuff to do, but I got so much done yesterday, I'm feeling pretty good about that, so yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I'm gonna go drink my breakfast drink and hope it doesn't spill all over me again. I think I avoided the explosion though, which is nice, but I have a feeling it's just gonna be like and um, then get to work, get, get some stuff done so that I can go home. I just went into my backpack to grab my uh, Bluetooth headphones, which I was charging last night, and I forgot them. Hmm. At least, because I'm an idiot and this stuff happens all the time, I have a set in there, but they're not the same, they're not over the air, they, yeah, I'm sad. Alrighty, so I am home. I've actually been home for a while now, but bad at vlogging today. It's 3.30, and I figure if I can get until four without passing out, I'll be able to stay awake today without having a nap, but, I'm, I just made my bed so I wouldn't be tempted, but now I kind of want to have a nap. So we're going to try to stay awake, get some work done on my book, and um, yeah, see, see if we can have a protective day. I need to do a little bit of tidying and stuff too. My room's just slowly becoming a mess because instead of functioning, I've just been sleeping and then making a mess and sleeping and making a mess, etc. So yeah. It's about 3.30, did I say that? I don't remember, I probably did. It's a gorgeous day outside, which is nice because it was supposed to rain, but also we should probably have some rain before everything catches on fire this summer, but you know, hopefully we'll get there. And yeah, I'm just just chilling, gonna, gonna work on my story soon, hopefully, like I said, so. Alrighty, so it is five o'clock. I haven't fallen asleep, which is super exciting, but I also haven't done anything at all at all. I don't know what I wasted my time doing, honestly, like, I I put away the dishes. Some of them. I don't think the dishwasher's clean, so I put away dishes. That is the extent of my doing anything. Oh, I can't believe it. Anyway, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pack up and go to the coffee shop and, um, try to get some writing done there, because I feel like I'll be productive. I want to be productive. I think this ch next chapter is okay. I'm lying. I'm pretty sure I have to write like the end of it, but I'm trying to convince myself it's going to be okay. So I think that's a good plan. I'm just, <sighs> I got to change out of my really comfy outfit because I don't want to wear this onesie out, but it's super comfy. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to change, pack up my laptop back there and um, head out to try to be productive, I guess. Assuming I can like make myself move because I just kind of want to the bed. The bed is so no. No, don't do it. Okay. Hopefully I'll be productive here. Alrighty. So I went out for dinner with my sister-in-law because she happened to be here. She was heading out to visit family. I was like, hey, I think I'm going to get food. And so we went together. She disappeared and I went to the coffee shop and... I got about 2,000 words done. I also wrote a blog post. I'm gonna self-promo that <laughs> the link will be down below to my blog. The main reason I mention that is because I feel like I go a lot more in depth in my blog about my days and my writing, but just because I like, I'm better at writing than I am about with, than I am with. 
speaking words from my face. See what I mean? It's a classic example. I didn't even mean to do that. So yeah, I've got about 2,000 words done. I'm really gassed right now. It's only 20 after 7, and I'm seriously contemplating going to sleep. So I think I'm going to try to power through a little bit longer, but I'm thinking 8 o'clock might be the time that I cut everything for the day and then try to pass out. So I'll keep you posted because I know this is... I know this will be a short vlog if I don't stay up, but also I'm so tired, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's almost 8 and I'm I'm gassed. I'm done. I need to climb into bed and hopefully this means I'll get a nice sleep tonight. My brain is slowly shutting down, so if the edit on this vlog is terrible, you know why. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's short adventure. And um, I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully I'm slightly more conscious. <laughs> Good night.